the BJP finally has a chief ministerial face in Delhi, Dr. Harsh Vardhan, who trumped his arch rival Vijay Goyal to be the chief ministerial candidate for the upcoming Delhi elections in December. Will the ENT surgeon be able to revive the saffron in the capital and break Sheila Dixit's 15 year long rule? Rahul Srivastava reports. <laughs> Sheila Dixit, a history major from Delhi University, seeks a historic fourth straight term. A challenger, ENT surgeon, BJP's Harshwardhan, a four-time MLA needs to surgically remove the reasons for Sheila's wins. She was the automatic choice for the Congress. Today's celebrations in BJP were more out of relief as other claimant for the job Vijay Goyal finally backed out. There may be reports, but actually there is no infighting. If the BJP is in Delhi, then people will say that Vijay Goyal is because of the withdrawal. And if you win, you will not get credit. So when you say that, it means that it is wrong. The Harshwardhan was elevated after usual BJP drama. Top leaders were divided over Goyal. Backed by a faction, Goyal threatened to quit party posts. RSS finally intervened for Harshwardhan. Goyal lost as BJP felt he lacked the urban touch to challenge the cosmopolitan Sheila. What are the reasons you think Sheila Dixit won three times which you want to remove this time? The, particularly down Delhi is cosmopolitan. There are a lot of people coming from the different state of the country. So the proportion is different. But the BJP is still wary. Will Vijay Goel, who's been cultivating Delhi for the last 18 months, sabotage the effort? And will infighting get the better of the party at a time when Sheila Dixit faces a three-term anti-incumbency, a CWG scam and a poor law and order charge? I am not going to comment on a political party, whatever it does internally. Kya wo kisko bagati, kya karte, wo unka adhikar hai, uspe hamara the BJP's counter also has certain weak points. The fact that the Congress has at least 15 MLAs who've retained their seats at least four times. Not just that, Vijay Goyal and Harsh Vardhan also belong to the traders' community. And Delhi's verdict would largely be decided by Punjabis as well as migrants from UP and Bihar. The rise of the Aam Aadmi Party means division of anti Sheila votes. Interestingly, BJP's campaign mainstay are corruption and Narendra Modi. But the party is wary to admit that Delhi will be a test case for the two. Do you think corruption as issue will get tested here? No. Is it an issue here? That's what I'm answering that only Rahul, very focused. We won three out of four states, but we did not, we were unable to win uh, the central election and form government. BJP insiders say that the party could have avoided naming a chief ministerial candidate in Delhi. But Harshwadhan was also projected to protect Narendra Modi's tag of most popular leader in the country in case Delhi is lost. Otherwise, the BJP is hoping 2013 to be 1998 when the party was voted out by rising prices of onion. Right now, the BJP feels that Delhiites are humming Pablo Neruda's Ode to the Onion, in which he says, you make us cry without hurting us. In Delhi, Rahul Srivastava for NDTV.